Hi guys, welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 video where we're going to be playing Russia in, uh, you know, the Great War Redux. Now, I don't know how painful this is going to be because it's been some time since I've played Russia in the mod. But uh, I'll give it the old, uh, as the saying goes, the old Rambler try and uh, let's get this started. So as you can see here, um, uh, we, are, we are quite big. We even have the Chinese Eastern Railway. Why did I seriously make a video on this? Seriously, why? We also, um, uh, this part of Iran is ours. Because why not? Anyways, let's get, you know, let's get this going. It's not even been a few days of game, and we've already got terrorists in our country causing problems. Hey, it doesn't hurt to spy on Germany. Um, uh, let me, um, uh, uh, there we go, that's, uh, the perfect name. Would it be a good idea to put this guy in charge of our army? Uh, you know, we're gonna be centrist. Why not? Well, I see Stalin's up to no good. Uh, let's see, um, uh, we better take care of them. We can't allow socialism to rise in our country anymore. Boom. Hey guys, guess what? Mexican Revolution! <laughs> that's, a, that's a very interesting national spirit you got there. Hey, you know, let's finally crush this whole um, uh, issue I like to call uh, sending the socialists to a certain direction. AKA prison. I'm sure putting this guy in charge of our army is a good idea. Eh, <laughs> corner love. Uh, you know, I feel like doing a bit of gaming in Iran today. Well, it's time to do a bit of gaming. <laughs> well, I see that our gaming is complete. Oh my god, will this ever end? Screw off, Stalin. Our, our minister got assassinated. Is it a good idea to put this guy in office? Or in our government? Well, I see China is whole. I hope this guy doesn't cause a collapse. Oh no. This event. Well, this guy's no longer a general. Oh yeah, um, our, our spy got captured. Uh oh. <laughs> Here's some uh, Russian support. Don't go too nuts. Albania. Ah, uh, yes, Chinese instability. We're gonna need this logistics wizard here for no reason. Uh, let's get some British capital, shall we? Uh, I would do German capital, but personally, I don't want to suddenly get, um, you know, my capital lost. Thanks for the French loan. I will indeed put it to good use, aka putting it into the army. Oh no. Uh, France Ferdinand just got assassinated, that's not good. Serbia just got invaded. Does that mean I have to protect them? Um, where's uh, where's uh, where's the button to um intervene? Where, where where's the button? Uh oh, did did it bug out again? Was there a decision I had to click? Uh oh. You know, personally, I think I'm supposed to do something, but I don't know what I'm doing. You know, personally, I think I'm supposed to help Serbia, but I have no idea how to help Serbia. I did the focus to guarantee them, and apparently that's not enough. I 
Uh, no worries, I got the, what I like to call the impenetrable wall. I call it the czar wall. No worries, I'll protect you, Serbia, with um, a national spirit that I don't even think I see here. Oh, we just got our agrarian reforms. Now it's time for the army reforms. Well, I see that the stalemate is real over here. Also, yes, I can't intervene for some reason. Part 2. Hmm, I see that Vietnam rose up. Of all the countries to rise up, it's Vietnam. Also, what is this? I can finally go to partial mobilization. Ah, uh, finally war propaganda. I can finally test my cast down here in Vietnam. I'm sure they'll appreciate my aid. Cast them to death. <laughs> Well, I mean, I didn't really do anything. Um. Wait, where's the state transfer tool? Um. I think I accidentally broke the game. Well, um, uh, this is indeed an F in the chat right here. There you go, I typed F a lot. Oh my god, finally something happened. The Great War finally kicked off. Are you We're putting all of our support over here. No reason why. <laughs> the offensive is going well. Maybe I should stop the offensive. It's, it, I think it's going to poorly... <laughs> Encirclement. Oh yeah, I should probably do the volunteer army because it actually gives army buffs. Even if we can't increase our conscription law, we already have a lot of manpower, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I see that the Irish are rising up. Eh, like I didn't see this coming. Okay, I did not see this coming. Uh, this is uh oh, a uh, uh, bit. Romania is falling apart. Now this is an encirclement up here. I see that the West is doing an offensive in uh, Germany in the Rhineland while we are currently invading them from the East. Yeah, Germany isn't looking too hot in this game. Um, majority of the casualties are from me, if you can tell. Oh, look at that, it's Ludendorff. You know, I do appreciate, uh, you know, the aid up here. I appreciate it. <laughs> Polish people will be able to get their own country for once. Such a radical idea. I know, right? More mills. We'll be eventually be able to win this war by Christmas. Thanks for the guns. We're gonna need them. We're gonna do a, a massive offensive that will totally not lose all of our manpower. Hello, Uncle Sam. Please give me guns. Thank you for the guns. Adaptable. Infantry expert. We're gonna smoke the Germans. Trust me, we're gonna smoke them hard. Alright, everybody. Go! Everybody go! We have to destroy Germany. Um... 
It's going all right, I guess. Oh my god, that cast damage in World War One. Uh, you know, we gained uh, quite a bit of ground, not gonna lie, after um, a lot of... Well, I mean, a lot more Germans died than Russians. I'd say that was a success. That was a success. Uh, finally you entered the war took some time, but you know better late than never. Oh My god Did Germany finally capitulate dear god? Ooh. Well if you're curious on what the casualties look like they're absolutely ridiculous Except for the except for here. I uh, You know I casually just did most of the work here um, I see that the Austrians decided that, you know, I'm doing a lot of the heavy work. I may as well just finish this off with an offensive. Oh my god, Germany's collapsing on all fronts. <laughs> They're collapsing hard. Yeah, as you can tell this, there, um, uh, by these front lines and where the troops were, Germany was collapsing horribly in Austria-Hungary was about to explode but anyways we won the war yay world peace uh, something I don't know Germany's probably gonna become nationalist or something Poland is free and here I'll build a port for you as you can see here pretty much they have no industry I stole it all Um, intervention. Uh, sure, I'll send uh, a volunteer force down here to destroy them. Sure, down you go. Ah, uh, there we go. Now there we go, the Ottoman Empire is still here, that's pretty much our puppet. Alright, time for a constitutional government. Uh, look at that guys, we're now democratic. No elections though. I, I don't understand that. Um, uh, we can... We can finally do this focus down here that gets rid of threat of revolution. Oh, look at that. We've officially... What the... How are we not a major power? How? Um... I think somebody just took control of Germany. And I don't like... Oh, never mind. They just abandoned their support. Well then, I see that uh, socialist, uh, the Ruhr army is here. I wonder who's gonna win, the Ruhr army or Germany. I don't really know what else to do, really. You know, we united the Russian Empire. When I mean united, I mean we didn't cause a civil war. We uh, we got Poland here. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video. Um, see you guys. Bye! Uh, we finally own Constantinople.